Trivandrum International Airport IATA, TRV, ICAO, VOTV, is an international airport which primarily serves the city of Tiruvananthapuram and adjacent towns. It is the first airport in the state of Kerala, India. It was the fifth international airport of India declared by then Prime Minister of India, V. P. Singh in 1991. It is the second busiest airport in Kerala after Kochi and the 14th busiest in India. In fiscal year 2017-18, the airport handled close to 4.4 million passengers, registering a 14% growth from previous year. Spread over an area of 700 acres 280 hectares, the airport is approximately 3.7 kilometers 2.3 miles due west from the city center, 16 kilometers 9.9 .9 miles from Kovalam Beach, 13 kilometers 8.1 miles from Technopark Tiruvananthapuram and 21 kilometers 13 miles from the under construction Vision Jam International Seaport. The airport has its name for being the airport which is the closest to the sea among all other airports in India. Trivandrum International Airport operates two terminals. Terminal 1 handles domestic flight operations except Air India and Terminal 2 handles all international flight operations as well as all domestic flights by Air India. In addition to civil operations, Trivandrum Airport caters to the Indian Air Force (IAF) and the Coast Guard for their operations. IAF have an exclusive apron to handle all their operations. Trivandrum Airport also caters to the Rajiv Gandhi Academy for Aviation Technology, which carries out pilot training activities. Trivandrum International Airport hosts Air India's Narrow Body Maintenance, Repair and Overhaul Unit MRO, consisting of twin hangars for servicing Boeing 737 type aircraft, servicing mostly Air India Express aircraft. Topic history The airport was established in 1932 as part of the Royal Flying Club under the initiative of Colonel Raja Gota Varman, consort of Rani Karthika Tirunal Lakshmi Bai, Rani of Attingal and of Travancore Kingdom. Raja Gota Varman, a trained pilot, felt the need of an airport to accommodate Travancore in the aviation map of India and requested the Travancore Durbar to initiate the process for establishing an aerodrome. A detailed report was made and presented to the king by consort prince in this regard. It may be mentioned that the king was the brother of Colonel Raj's wife, and the colonel's own children were the heirs to the throne. In 1935, on royal patronage of H. H. Maharaja Chithira Tirunal, Tata Airlines made its maiden flight to the airport using DH.83 Fox Moth aircraft under command of India's first pilot Neville Vincent carrying Jamshed Navoro G., a Tata company official, and Kanchi Dwarakadas, commercial agent of Travancore in Karachi, with a special mail from the Viceroy of British India, Lord Willingdon, wishing birthday greetings to the Maharaja. The first flight took off on 1 November 19. 35, carrying mails of Royal Ankle to Bombay. In 1938, the Royal Government of Travancore acquired a Dakota as Maharaja's private aircraft and placed the first squadron of Royal Indian Air Force Travancore for protection of state from aerial attacks. After independence, the airstrip was used for domestic flights with construction of a domestic terminal, T-1. International operations were initiated by Air India to cities in the Arabian Peninsula in the late 1970s using Boeing 707. By early 80s, the then Indian Airlines started service to Colombo, followed by service to Mail. Later, Sri Lankan Airlines then Air Lanka and Air Maldives now Maldivian started operations. Followed by Indian Airlines, that started a service to Sharjah. On 1 January 1991, TIA was upgraded to an international airport, making it the fifth international airport of India after Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai and Kolkata. On 1 March 2011, the first flight operated from the new international terminal. X-536 Air India Express from Sharjah marked the first arrival. Air India Express operated the first departure to Dubai from this new terminal. Indian Oil Skytanking is the company which introduced single-man refueling in India and started refueling operations at Trivandrum in March 2016. <laughs> terminals There are two terminals. Terminal 1 is for domestic except Air India and Jet Airways and Terminal 2 for international flights and all domestic flights of Air India and Jet Airways. The domestic terminal has an area of 9200 square meters, 99000 square feet and can handle 400 passengers at a time. 
The Terminal 3 NITB, New International Terminal Building and the International Terminal can handle 1,600 passengers at a time. The International Terminal ground operations are handled by Air India Sats Airport Services Private. Limited and Badra International India Private. Limited. It is fully air-conditioned with Wi-Fi facility. The terminal features spacious lounges, natural lighting with extensive use of glass roofing and better conveyance facilities for passengers. It has three baggage carousels and elaborate immigration, customs facilities. Flemingo, India's first privately owned duty-free operator is managing the duty-free shop at the international terminal. The domestic terminal has basic amenities including cafes, a beer and wine bar, a book cellar, free local calls, phone recharging points. Into plane services fueling operations handled by Indian Oil Skytanking. Facilities The newly built Terminal 2 has three additional jetways and parking bays to accommodate eight aircraft. The terminal is built opposite to the current terminal across the runway and is closer to the city side. The terminal, constructed by the AAI and designed by the UK firm, Pascal plus Watson Architects, is expected to provide impetus to the development of the IT sector and the tourism industry in the southern districts of Kerala. The International Terminal covers an area of 35,000 square meters (380,000 square feet). It is able to handle the passengers of three Airbus A340s and one Boeing 747 aircraft simultaneously, roughly 1,500 passengers. The annual handling capacity of the terminal will be 1.8 million. The check-in area has a floor area of 950 square meters (10,200 square feet) and the arrival area 600 square meters (6,500 square feet). To enable the passengers to check in at any counter, a common user's terminal equipment cute is installed. X-ray machines are attached to the side of the conveyor belts for faster clearance of baggage. The entrance to the terminal is from the Chaka Inchakal Road. A bridge has been built across the Parvathi Puthanur Canal to link the new terminal to the Kazakudam Inchavila NH National Highway 47 bypass. The new terminal has a car park area that can accommodate about 600 cars. There is a pre-paid taxi service counter and foreign exchange Thomas Cook India counter on arrivals area. Trivandrum Airport was included in Ministry of Civil Aviation Strategic Plan for 2010 to 2015 to upgrade as Category A airport by developing to Aerodrome Code 4E 4F, construct parallel runway with taxiways alongside both runways and so forth. Topic: Expansion Further expansion of the airport has been planned with the AAI demanding 82 acres for the construction of a new domestic terminal and other related facilities for Trivandrum Airport. The state government has agreed to acquire 18 acres for the construction of the domestic terminal. The AAI is planning to construct a new terminal of around 40,000 square meters, which would spruce up the city airport to a 72,500 square meter integrated terminal. Paperworks, including drawing of plans, for the new terminal building have already begun at the AAI headquarters. The plan is to complete the construction of the new terminal within 18 to 24 months after the state government hands over the land to the Airport Authority of India. The AAI plans to have a three-story structure attached to the existing terminal. The elevation of new terminal would be identical to the existing terminal building. Topic. Cargo operations The cargo activities at the Trivandrum Airport are carried out through the Kerala State Industrial Enterprises KSIE, a government of Kerala undertaking. The cargo warehouse is on the airport premises. It has a capacity to import 21,000 MT and export 27,000 MT per annum. In 2010-11, up to December 2010, the airport achieved MT of import cargo and MT of export cargo. The KSIE is developing a satellite cargo import facility on a temporary basis at the NITB terminal for perishable cargo handling till their final master plan is implemented for developing a huge cargo warehouse on 15 acres of land adjoining the NITB. Major cargo jets such as Emirates has begun flights to Trivandrum International Airport TIA.
Topic: Other operations. In addition to civil operations, Trivandrum Airport also caters to IAF and Coast Guard for their strategical operations. IAF have an exclusive apron to handle all their operations. Trivandrum Airport also caters for Rajiv Gandhi Academy for Aviation Technology. The academy has its own hangar facility at the airport. The hangar facility can accommodate 10 trainer aircraft. Topic: Infrastructure. Topic: Air traffic control. The air traffic control ATC tower is 18 meters 59 feet tall. There are plans to build a new 50 meters tall ATC tower for Trivandrum Airport near the new international terminal. The airport has an CAT-1 instrument landing system ILS, DVOR and distance measuring equipment DME. The airport is also equipped with an monopulse secondary surveillance radar, air route surveillance radar and an airport surveillance radar which allows approach and area control of the airspace around the airport and nearby air routes. Runway <inaudible> 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 Trivandrum International Airport has one runway, 32 14 3,400 meters times 45 meters, 11,155 feet times 148 feet, equipped to operate any type of aircraft in commercial service other than Airbus A380. It has a 1,880 meters, 6,170 feet long parallel taxiway. Topic. MRO facility Trivandrum International Airport hosts Air India's narrow body maintenance, repair and overhaul unit MRO consisting of twin hangars for servicing Boeing 737 type aircraft, servicing mostly Air India Express aircraft. The maintenance repair overhaul is set up on 6.07 hectares of land at a cost of 110 crore rupees. It was commissioned on December 16, 2011. The maintenance of two aircraft can be simultaneously done at the two hangars present at the MRO. The facility is state of the art with 5,000 SF of workshop, 10,000 SF apron, electrically operated and vertically moving hangar door system, warehouse, and office space. The maintenance, repair, and overhaul MRO facility of Air India Charters Limited AICL at Trivandrum International Airport was given permission to carry out the crucial C checks of their Boeing 737-800 fleet. <laughs> <laughs> Airlines and destinations Passenger Topic Cargo Topic Security Trivandrum International Airport is listed among the major airports of India. Its safety and security is handled by the Bureau of Civil Aviation Security through the Central Industrial Security Force Hashtag Airport Security In the past, the airport security was under the control of airport police under the state government. However, following the hijacking of Indian Airlines Flight 814 in 1999, the airport security was handed over to CISF. Trivandrum Airport also has advanced security equipment including X-ray baggage inspection X-BIS, explosive trace detection system ETDS, and provision of an inline baggage screening system. At the NITB, state-of-the-art closed-circuit television CCTV, flight information display system FIDS, and public address PA systems, as well as an interactive voice response system IVRS, for flight information, are there for passengers' convenience. Air traffic management Trivandrum Airport is one of the major airports in South India. It plays a major role in the world aviation map, connecting and controlling about nine international air routes and eight domestic air routes and provides approach control service to eight major and minor aerodromes. 
A terminal control area TMA is established with a 250 nm lateral limit around Trivandrum Airport and a vertical limit of ground to 46,000 feet. The ATC also provides approach control for arriving and departing traffic and is also an area control center for overflying aircraft and traffic operating from adjacent airports like Cochin, Calicut, Coimbatore, Madurai and Trichy. Trivandrum Airport is also a major training center for ATCOs at the induction level as junior executives. The airport on average handles 350 aircraft movement per day including overflying aircraft. Connectivity Road Trivandrum International Airport is connected to National Highway 66 NH66 which connects the airport to the city and other parts. The National Highway 66 links the airport with the upcoming Vision Jam International Seaport. Topic: <laughs> Buses. Buses connect Trivandrum Airport to different parts of the city. Services are mainly operated by the Kerala State Road Transport Corporation which connects the airport to East Fort, Kochi, Kolam etc. Rail The nearest railway station is Kochuveli Railway Station which is about 5 km away and Tiruvanantapuram Central Railway Station is about 5.5 km. These railway stations are well connected with different regions of the country. Topic: <inaudible> Helicopter. Chipsan Aviation Air Charter Services operating helitaxi service from the airport to the various locations. Topic: <inaudible> Taxis. <inaudible> 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 Pre-paid taxi services are available from both the terminals of Trivandrum Airport. Taxi aggregators Uber and Ola is within service area. See also Cochin International Airport Calicut International Airport Kanner International Airport Sabaragiri International Airport Airports in India List of busiest airports in India by passenger traffic